Okay, in this video, we're going to talk about putting the hexagon on the end of a part on a lathe with live tooling. And we're going to show, I'm going to show you how to do it with the tool coming in from the Z axis, as well as the option of the tool coming in from the X axis. So I'm going to pick Turn Mill, create a new document. And I'm going to go through the wizard here and say, well, my part is six inches long. It's two inches in diameter. Next, uh, materials aluminum. Uh, yes, I am doing fourth axis. And finish. Okay. And my zero defaulted to the end of the part. And if I wanted to change that, uh, that's another video we can get into by changing the uh, current location of the setup. But anyway, I'm going to go to my right side view. So I'm looking at the part from the end, and I'm going to create a hexagon. So I'm going to go to my curves, other methods, polygon, next. Tell it I have five sides. The center is at zero, zero, zero. Then you can either, a uh, couple of different options of how to define it. I'm going to do a little preview here and say, okay, that's exactly what I want. Uh, corner uh, to corner is the value here as you can kind of see um, you know it's set to one inch there so I'm just gonna say okay finish so it's a simple curve out on the end of the part and if I go ahead and pick this say new feature turn mill because it's live tooling next boss I want to cut the outside next there's the curve Next, tops at zero. Next, let's go half inch deep. So that's the height of it. Next, I'm just going to finish only. I'm not going to ramp from the top. And next, and it says, okay, I'm going to use this really, really big end mill I have because there's no internal radius to determine tool size. So it uses the biggest end mill in the crib. I happen to have this crazy two and a half inch in there but I want to do something different so I'm going to say next I want to search for a different tool I want to use this three quarter inch end mill right here finish okay slow it down play so let's there's a lot of good things going to happen in this video you're wondering why it's doing this funny little move here. And that's because if I go back to my right side view, there's no material here at the very end. So it didn't run the tool around the end of it. Thinks it got rid of the material. So it came off, moved over, and came back on. Well, I want the tool just to run around the outside. So if I open up this feature, I click on finish, and go to the milling tab, I'm just going to set total stock equal to zero. Now notice if I say play, the tool just goes all the way around. When you say total stock is zero, basically it forgets that this stock exists. And it says, oh, I got to make a finish pass. And zero just says, you know, there's, I could have put any number less than the step over value. But anyway, if we played this in 3D, play, you will notice that the part spins just like it does on the lathe. I can single step that to slow it down a little bit. Okay. Now, if I want to use my Y axis, if I have a Y axis on my machine, open up the feature and on the dimensions tab, just come down here and say cut feature using Y axis. Now, when I say play, the tool runs around and the C axis stays in position. So anyway, that's very simple. Uh, that's how we create a hex with the tool coming in from the Z axis. Check out the next video that's going to talk about the tool coming in from the X axis to create the same shape.